Hello, hello guys. This is my first ever machine learning, I mean programming related video. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you the um, applying class uh, clustering and classification on two training datasets that is blobs and moons. The first, I'm going to apply the both on the training dataset of blobs. So in this, let me show you what is what is that about so first let me create new file called blobs in the folder of yt and let's keep its name as blobs.file first let me demonstrate you what the i mean how the data set is so to implement those First, I will import the dataset by this code from sklearn dot sklearn dot datasets import make blobs. Okay, make blobs um, and let's keep its x coordinate and y coordinate on these variables. Make blobs. How many blobs I want? N samples equal to equal to let's keep it 200 or 300 or 250 okay 269 this is more accurate 269 and n futures the number of futures will be equal to let's keep it as uh, 4 okay 4 and let's try to see whether it works or not I'm going to run this code by terminal and it's opening by the code on blobs.py taking a lot of time to respond and it finally works so we are going to import matplotlib for the demonstration so import matplotlib dot by plot I plot as PAT okay PAT and I'm going to create the figure of PAT that is PLT dot plot and just no wait PLT dot fig I guess yes fig PLT dot figure and then I'm going to create two figures for it that is first figure we are going to keep its title as title um actual uh, actual data set and it will be first we have to allocate this position so how we are going to allocate this position by um add yes add scatter plot where is it add scatter plot oh, okay add subplot this one mm and its parameters let me check what will be it okay okay number of columns number of rows okay number of rows that is for now let's keep number of rows as one number of columns as one and the first position itself so first position what we are going to set is plt dot scatter scatter x coordinates the variable x all its rows and its first column with with respect to the variable x which is a numpy array with its all rows and its second column c is depth will be its y coordinate and c map let's keep it as paired one plt dot axis axis let's keep it as off and let's actually check how it works okay i got the uh, error here that is c map it's not c map it is c map fine
okay our data set is something like this so in order to reduce this uh, let's remove this command and okay this is how our actual data set look like okay this is how our actual data set look like now we are going to apply the clustering on this first if we learn if we learn dot uh sql clusters cluster input k means we are going to import the k means model at first and then first of all let me comment out all this because we are going to use it later and yeah we are going to make a model uh, let's keep it name as clus and the model will be k means k means uh, n clusters equal to wait okay yes, n cluster equal to uh, 4 because there will be 4 clusters here and that's it and then yeah let's predict the values that is we are going to store its value on a variable called ypred so ypred ypred is equal to plus dot fit predict so what this is going to do is first it will fit all the uh, all the values of x and then it will predict the values of x and store in the variable ypred okay so let's keep a look on Vibrid how it actually looks. Okay, good, good. It's very good. And now we are going to see how it actually looks like. So we'll number of rows is one itself, number of points will be two, and I'm going to so copy the template out of this the title will be um, k means cluster cluster x coordinate x coordinate good and here it will be y pred y pred okay forgot to keep the random state let's keep it as Okay, no, I, I think it's not quite although let's keep this random state random state is equal to 69 this is more accurate one and that's it let's keep the k means models random state also 69 69 and then okay think everything is right and this will be at second position see map is paired and let's do this oh very nice it successfully um, predicted all the things but the problem is that there are two two centers together that's the very big problem here so we are going to take some other random state like let's keep it as 19 okay 19 and then check it mm, okay hey what's the problem wait here there is actually only three clusters showing up but there is okay i have input four one fine then i'm going to change it to three and check it out okay this one is more accurate it is actually predicting the right uh, classification and it's differentiating between all these three and let's actually print its centers like we can do that by using centers equal to plus dot centers cluster centers and then going to plot its centers by 
um, will be dot scatter and this time we are going to scatter the centers that is this one centers I'm okay I mean center yeah center 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 so all rows first column and centers all row and second column C will be equal to black because we want to be at black color and that's it let's check how it looks very nice it looks very good here as you can see this is the center of each of the uh, predicted groups let's check I mean let's change it to phi right now n clusters equal to phi and this we are going to change to 4 and let's check what will happen okay okay this is too much of messed up data set I'm going to change it or we can make change the noise I guess wait mm, no we cannot then we are going to change it to 4 or change the random state to 18 let's check this time okay but I am unable to understand why it is showing only 3 features instead of 4 mm, maybe I don't know mm, let's change it to 5 and I think this time it will work properly mm, this is too messed up shit it is too much of messed up but still our model is able to predict actually the centers properly and skip test 17 and check how it works okay this is very good it's actually predicting very well but there is only three features this time i don't know why i think we have to decrease the number of features let's change it to 200 and now let's check it mm, okay only three of them so I'm going to change it to three and now let's see this is how our K means model clustered all this now we are going to demonstrate how the classification works so for that I'm going to import from sql learn dot neighbors import import k neighbor classifier and okay so what i'm going to do is i will keep the model name as class just class okay, class and it is k neighbor classifier neighbors okay not neighbors so everything will be default and we are going to train the model now that is model fit class dot fit x x y okay x and y and y thread to y thread to equal to class dot Predict class dot predict x itself and let's check how the predict looks like y pred y pred y pred two okay and I'm going to just comment out all this stuff and let's see how it works. Okay is almost similar one and it is actually 
looking more accurate let's check oh wait vibrant vibrant so i think we have messed it i have messed it up too much let's keep the feature the same that is n feature equal to n clusters and just check it out okay nice and now now actually let's check how the it was before if we have kept the n feature equal to 5 okay this one fine but still it's not good let's change it something to other uh, and keep it like something 68 let's pick 68 and enter mm, okay but still it's not good wait why it is showing like that let's keep it to zero directly and let's see okay this one is okay but still i have completely messed this i'm going to close everything thank you for watching